Hello, I'm Gary Simon, President and Founder of Great Transition Strategies. Lesson two in your leadership journey. Quick review, you started, you built a timeline about you and every leadership position you held. Here are the positions that I held and you put a kind of timeline on there, all right? Then in that, the first drill that you did is you took a look at what role did I have? How did I get there? How did I lead? And how effective was I? So you made a decision on all those areas and you kind of wrote it down. So you might be doing this graphically, you might be doing this in a journal, you might be doing it on a computer. But this is a way, so you, we're gonna continually build on this leadership journey, your, your journey, your story. All right, so what do we wanna figure out today? Now let's get a little more in depth. So we have this part that got us started. Now, as you look back over this right here, your, your role, how you got there, how you led in your effectiveness. What insights did you take away from that? What were some of your insights? What kind of leader were you when you think about it? So let's pull, pull some of those insights before we get, move on to the next, right? Think about, well, this tells me I was this kind of a leader. This tells me, you know, I could see how I grew over time here. This is how I grew. I see a progression here in me. So pull out some insights. Next, go back to the very beginning and take yourself. Go back to that time and try and embody yourself and, and your past self. Who was I then? So based on how you looked at yourself, can you write a definition of leadership that that person would have written in your first leadership position? What was what's your definition of leadership back then? After you do that, you know where you are now and you've evolved over time, what's your definition of leadership now? It will take a little bit of time for you to think about, okay, let me go back then. Actually, it might be really simple. It might be, I'm in charge, I got this position, do as you're told. That's what I thought then. You might think completely differently now. Write a definition of what you thought then and the way you are now as a leader. Write those definitions. Okay, so now here we are into the next phase. We want to get deeper into your leadership. So let's get deeper. I chose four areas for you to take a look at. And these areas, you can get deeper and get subheadings, but I chose them as big, big headings for you to get, get started. And that they are transactional leadership, transitional leadership, power and authority, and relationships. So let's talk about each one. I want you to think about in each area, just as you did here where you handle this, Build your story around these three areas. Transactional leadership, what am I talking about? That is leadership by transacting. It is, I give you this, I get this in return for you. I pay you, I get work from you. I give you incentives, I get more work from you. Um, those, it's about structure, the relationship of the org chart, hierarchy, those kind of things. That's transactional leadership. Transitional leadership, or yeah, transitional leadership is that's where the individual and though the individual leading and those being led build a relationship and both get better because of that relationship. So the leader gets better because of the followers and the followers get better because of the leader and you, you're able to move forward. So I want you to think about in each of these areas here, how much of you was a transactional leader and describe how you were a transactional leader and how much of you was a transitional leader? How much and how did you execute that? Next, power and authority. Where did your power and authority come from? As a leader, it came from somewhere. You might be in this first position. Oh, I, had the, I had the budget, I had the org chart, and I had a boss who drove things. I was able to control the hours, I had the keys to the bill, whatever it was that gave you the power the power to accomplish what you needed to accomplish as a leader. So evaluate, where did my power and my authority come from? And lastly, how was I with relationships with my subordinates? How did I build those relationships? What kind of relationship was it? And clearly this ties directly back to transactional and transitional. You know, I didn't know my people very well. I didn't know them personally. Maybe I just knew them technically. What kind of relationships did you have? So you can see, if you take a look at this from the beginning of time, you now have some insights into how you grew. You took a look at your definition of leadership from back then and one now, 
And now you've gotten a little bit deeper in you. What kind of leader were you? How did you execute looking at these four broad areas? All right, dig into it. If you need to go back, play this back, stop the tape, stop the video, and then do some work on it, and then listen, listen to it again more. Here, we're building a bigger picture of you in your leadership journey at each of those spots so you can evaluate yourself. Thanks for listening. See you in the next video.